Okay, peace. What's up, everyone? Hunter X back here. We're back uh, with the Toronto Pizza Reviews right here. We ended up doing 241 Pizza, uh, which was pretty good. You know, surprising for, for a chain. It was actually pretty decent. Uh, it's called Wing Machine. It's kind of, it's a smaller little chain. I think they got around like 30-ish locations in mostly around the, the greater Toronto area. Um, so, you know, they got some in like North York. They got some, they got one in Oshawa. They got one in Mississauga. So, you know, they're kind of all around here. They've been around since like the late 1980s. Wing Machine is actually owned by Gino's Pizza. So if you know Gino's Pizza, it's a pretty popular chain uh, and big, actually pretty big as well across uh, south, southern Ontario. So Wing Machine obviously specializes in wings. They have have ribs, they got panzerottis, you know, chicken. It is different than Gino's, even though they both serve pizza because the prices are different. Some of the toppings are a bit different. The wing machine is like at least a few dollars cheaper prices overall than Gino's, which is surprising. Now we're back in the same spot where I filmed a uh, two for one pizza last week. So the wing machine is like probably, you know, like two, two or three stores down from two for one. So um, I guess like a bar vibe in there. I thought it was gonna be like a, you know, like 241, like just a takeout spot, but it's actually got like seating. It's got like a bar there. So the price actually was really good. It's at $10.85, so 10 dollars 85 Canadian dollar, which is actually a really good price. That's like basically the same price as 241, but it's just a bit cheaper. Um, in terms of price, the cheapest pizza we've had so far. So this is a small Canadian pizza. Very interesting box. Cool logo there, I like that. Chicken, barbecue ribs, pizza. Got the phone number there. Pretty nice box, I like the logo. Same on the pan there, same there, same there. 10 inch, 10 inch wings. I guess this is like a wing box too. Doubles as a wing box. Let's see. Ooh, it's not bad. Kind of looks similar to um, to Pizza Pizza almost. Kind of like, almost looks like 2412. Like it's, it looks like a standard chain pizza. Pretty good amount of toppings on there actually. Nice bubbles on the cheese there. It looks pretty solid, man. It looks pretty good. Oh wow, a lot of pull on that, holy shit. It's a little bit irregularly cut as well, you can see that. It is cut pretty well, but it's a little bit irregular in terms of the sizes of the slices, but... Well that one, that one's completely down, so no structure to it. It actually looks very solid, honestly, some dark marks. It's pretty dark actually, for, for like a North American style crust, that's pretty dark crust. Mostly smells like a little bit of mushroom with a kind of thick bread smell to it. Wing machine, Cabbage Town, let's go. It kind of reminds me of Gino's in some ways, but it's, actually, it's definitely a different pizza. Like, it's not like they're making, copying the same pizza. This is definitely different. The crust, man, it's pretty damn thick. And it's deceivingly thick. Like, it doesn't look that bad, but this is regular crust, man. It is pretty damn thick. Look at that. White bread, North American bread flavor. Not much flavor at all. It's dry. Like, it looks dry. It is dry. There is some semolina on the bottom, believe it or not. Just a tiny bit pretty well done on the bottom like it was a little bit of crunch to it the back is kind of like a little bit of crunch too it was it's chewy all the way through it's just somehow dry like the bread is really really dry like stale bread almost like old bread it's got some sock there on the front end of it so the cheese cheese is not too bad actually you know this i think there's a, a solid amount on there i don't think i would need too much more maybe just a touch bit more you know it's got that little bubbling to it it did pull a little bit but it's definitely not a high quality cheese you know it's greasy you can see the grease marks there you know, it's got some grease to it. Not nothing crazy, but it's got a little bit of grease there. No flavor. It's not even like salty or anything. Just no flavor to it at all. It's a little bit like glue texture to it. The, uh, the sauce, sauce is really, really bad as well. It's not dispersed very well. It's kind of, it's a chunkier sauce. So it's got like little chunks. See, you can see some missing there, missing there. It's all missing there. It's just little chunks of it. Have you ever, I don't know if you ever tried like the tomato paste, like straight out of the tube before, just by itself. It really tastes just like that. Like it tastes like raw tomato paste doesn't seem like it was, you know, flavored, seasoned with anything. No salt, no herbs, no garlic, olive oil. It's dry. Look at the toppings. Toppings are all right. I mean, they remind me like Gino's toppings, kind of like pizza, pizza toppings. Like they're pretty low quality. I mean, you can see here the mushrooms. They're still pretty watery. Um, you know, there's a lot of water on them still. They weren't cooked out too much. You know, there's no seasoning on them. They're chewy. Yeah, the pepperoni is okay. I mean, they're actually surprisingly like like crispy. Just a tiny bit flavor of like the standard like meat smoked flavor but there's really nothing else to it and it's cut thinly. Bacon's actually probably the best topping on here you know they're small they're pretty really small pieces of, of crumble actually very small pieces so they actually got burned you can see that they're 
very dark, but the flavor of the bacon's fine, you know, it's got some saltiness to it, it's not overly like a fake pork flavor, you know, very standard, not too greasy. I would definitely take more bacon bits on there, and maybe bigger pieces so they don't burn when you cook them. So other than that, I would definitely take more mushrooms as well. I think pepperoni was fine, there's enough on there. If you're looking for a pizza that's like around 10 bucks, it's a chain, you know, I would take two for one over this for sure. You know, the one thing I can say about it that they actually did pretty well was like the cook on it. Like surprisingly, the bottom was cooked well, the top was cooked pretty well. There was a little bit of raw dough in the, in the center, so I'm thinking they cooked it to a high temperature too fast and give enough time for the dough underneath to cook properly. So, but it's definitely, you need like a dipping sauce or something to get through this pizza. So, um, check it out if you want. So, wing machine, we're gonna hit wing machine with a two out of 10, 2.0 out of 10 for Wing Machine. You know, we're gonna get some restaurants in pretty soon, and yeah, so we'll see you. As a reaction, let's go, peace.